Hey, I'm Gray and welcome to my channel. If you know me from my Instagram, you should already know that I love Ninjago. I really, really like Ninjago. Especially this greeny beanie. J just, just look at this baby. He's precious. Okay, enough about my fictional crush. Wow, I'm that lonely. Okay, then, Gray. Today I'm going to be talking about how I entered the Ninjago fandom and slowly started to branch off then dive back head on into the fandom. Some of you may not know what Ninjago is, and if you don't, first of all, go watch it, it's great. And if you're on my channel, then I think you'd like it. Ninjago is basically a show of four, no five, no six, no seven? Is it seven now? Does Pixel count or is she like a separate thing? Anyway, it's about six teenagers who are ninjas fighting off evil with their elemental powers with the help of their sensei, the one and only Sensei Wu, or Master Wu, which I prefer. It's really cool, they have a lot of powers and some cool villain designs. It's a great show overall. I personally love all the main characters and think they would be perfect partner material. I'm just a hopeless romantic, please help me. I believe season 13 came out, and it did come out. Uh, I watched it, it's great. No spoilers. I have a link down in the description for a playlist where you can watch all of them on YouTube if you want. To Ninjago, uh, Lego, uh, the Cartoon Network. Please don't come after me. It's it, it was it's not it's not mine. Okay, and I'm just I'm just giving it to my fans who may not know where to where to find it. Yeah, this is a cold season. It was good. Just go watch it. Do you remember the Ninjago movie? It was released around 2017, so around three years ago. P.S. I hate that movie, but I also kind of like it because I like to make fun of it. Yes, I am mean, and if you say Lloyd, I will secretly judge you. <laughs> I'm kidding, please don't hate me. A few months after that movie was released, I was stumbling around Netflix, and I saw Ninjago was just chilling there, so I decided to watch it because I was young at the time and it seemed interesting. There were like six seasons at the time on Netflix. The first six seasons and now Netflix has been a bitch to me because at least in my country they took away almost all of the seasons and left four seasons. The first two, Hands of Time and Sons of Garmadon. So basically my whole childhood has been stripped away from me and I'm sad now. I really have nothing else to do. All my interests are art and Ninjago. That's all. I'm that bland. <laughs> Netflix, please put the seasons back. I'm begging you. Seriously, Ninjago is the best. Give it back. After watching Ninjago for the first time and several times after that, I fell in love with it. Especially with Lloyd because uh, of course I did. I fell in love with the characters, the story. I just love them so much. They're so precious. And it was around the same time where I started to take my art more seriously. Obviously, since I liked the show, I wanted to draw the characters and draw fan art. Here is my first drawing that's Lloyd. There are multiple of them. Now, I did have a drawing, like a really, really old drawing of the ninjas on Procreate. But unfortunately, I deleted it a long time ago and I really hate that. So now the world may never see that masterpiece again. I'm kidding, it would have probably burned your eyes out if you saw it. I only drew Lloyd because I'm biased at this time, and I didn't think there was a big Ninjago fandom. Here are a few drawings of Lloyd I drew a long time ago. Those are really ugly, and please don't judge me on them. That's not how I draw anymore. The good old days where it only took two to four hours to finish a drawing. Oh, the good old days where I could probably post like maybe two or three times if I'm lucky in a day on like my Instagram. And now it takes like fucking 24 plus hours to finish one drawing for Instagram. And my posts have to be done in advance because oh my god, it takes so fucking long. So if you look on my Instagram, I didn't really draw a lot of Ninjago back then. Like maybe here and there, once or twice, somewhere it popped up. I wasn't really active in the quote unquote fandom that I didn't even know existed yet until I found a very special YouTuber. Her YouTube is RadiantGlow64. I would greatly appreciate if you give her some love. She makes a lot of great Ninjago content and is a very talented animator. Her content is gold and will definitely give you a few laughs. Click in the 
like her to check out her channel. Uh, through her channel, I saw that there were actually a lot of Ninjago fans out there. I just haven't met them yet or haven't actually stepped my foot into the fandom because the fandom was so much bigger than I actually expected. And Molly, aka Radiant Glow 64, was one of the first, if not the first Ninjago related artist that I found. Her, her works really inspire me to this day. Another animator I found that made Ninjago related content is Ellis Paperwork. The art and animatics are great. Go in the description to check out all the people I've mentioned in this video by the way. So they're on Instagram and of course I follow them. And one day, one of them reposted on their story of Gyra at Sudden Downs posts. Hopefully I said that right. I'm sorry if I pronounce that wrong, Jira. Uh, and I started following her. One day posted something about a Lloyd cult and I I initially like passed it because I thought it was dumb. And then I gave in and I I joined it. <laughs> yes, a cult. A cult for Lloyd. My experience literally went from artists who happen to make Ninjago content to a cult. This is where the fans in that fandom have dragged me back inside. So of course I joined this cult because I love Lloyd and damn I did not know how much this cult would change my life for the better. It has improved my mental health and has gained me a couple of friends, made me more productive, and even caught off a toxic person in my life, which I will talk about in another video in the future. And it has also made me improve my social interaction skills. Okay that's false, but you know. <laughs> for clarification. The, this is not a real call, it's just a fun Discord and Instagram group thing, okay? <laughs> it's not a real cult, okay? I'm fine. This cult made me step out of my comfort zone and interact with other fans of Ninjago and artists like me. I made so many friends on there and made more Ninjago art than ever. A few friends of mine that I met in the Lloyd cult are Bappy Greeny, aka the cult leader, <laughs> aka Precious Bean that needs to be protected. Go check her out, she's amazing, she's so sweet. Oh my god. Guevara draws, which is now Guevara draws when he wants to. AKA Guava, aka the only straight male in this fandom. I may be kidding, I may be not. You'll just have to find that out by yourself. Rin, aka Cookies and Milks Uwu, aka Certified Dumbass, and many others. Go check out their Instagrams because they are awesome and deserve so much love and support. Just go! Go and support these people. I'll put their Instagram handles up on the screen right now. Go follow them. Yes, this is a threat. Go now. I've also sneaked in a bunch of other artists that I think are underrated and are also Ninjago related, so please go follow them. Over time, I followed a lot of Ninjago fans and artists, and some of them even followed me back. You don't know how happy that makes me. Uh, and now I see that the fandom is actually a lot bigger than I thought it was. This experience has been totally life-changing for me because it has exposed me and shown me that other people have the same interests as me. Art, Ninjago, that's it. That's my only interest. Now, you may be wondering, why Ninjago? Ninjago out of all shows. Why not like Voltron or Little Witch Academia or She-Ra? Which are all fantastic shows by themselves and you should definitely watch them. But why Ninjago specifically? Well, it's because without Ninjago, you would not see the artists on your screen right now. I would have not taken my art seriously without Ninjago. I would have not drawn anything if it wasn't for Ninjago. I as an artist would not be the level that I am without this stupidly awesome show on their lovable characters. I probably would have put art a long time ago and would also probably probably be in a bad mental state right now if it wasn't for the people in that fandom. Ninjago has really helped me a lot in my art and is one of the most important shows in my childhood. Thank you Ninjago for keeping up my motivation and being one of the nicest communities ever. Here are the main cast, I will give you their nicknames for them. Kai, Red Ego, or Porcupine, Zane, Male Elsa, or Jack Frost, but no one likes that. Jay, Short baby simp, because obviously. Cole, cake stealer. Lloyd, senpai or daddy. No questions asked. Nia, waifu, with a temper. 
And finally, Pixel. I have no nicknames for Pixel. Sorry, girl, I don't have nothing against you. It's just that you were very significant in my life and you didn't even show up to like the recent season. So like, I don't really have a nickname for you. So then I talk about the picture in the background for a bit. Hopefully the quality of the video is better than last time because I remember last time it recorded in such a low quality. Everything was so blurry and I hated myself. Uh, this piece took me a really long time. It took me like over the workload of over three days to do and it actually took 24 plus hours and pretty sure it's 28-ish hours. Could be more because I forgot to record some of it and this drawing has took me the longest time out of all my drawings that I've ever done in the world. It, it's literally the longest piece I've ever done and damn it looks good. <laughs> I really i'm really happy with how it turned out it did not disappoint me i remember when i first started drawing the thing i started off with mia in the front and it was on paper and my dumbass drew it full body and then i was like oh oh shit if i drew her full body everyone else has to draw a, like a full body and then i panicked and then i had to draw eight full bodies and then I had to compile them all together and then draw over them and then just oh my god it took so fucking long and including like Naomi which I wasn't even supposed to include in this speed paint anyway it took even longer I, I don't regret putting her in there she's great I love her uh if you don't know this is not their design this is my AU for them this is the twisted AU which has a what pad uh which I'll update maybe later today or something. It's called Twisted Heroes, link in the description, iCard. Can I put a wet pad in an iCard? Okay, well, uh, let's just see if Editor Me can do it. It's really fun. I had a lot of fun with the lighting and the shadows and oh god, the amount of layers this had is great. I also made a TikTok for this. Yes, I have a TikTok. We covered this in the introduction video. Uh, go follow that too, because why not? Next video will either be about the villains of Ninjago and my thoughts of them, aka Harumi, aka the hot snake bitch, Moro, aka the Salt King, Garudan, aka the father that left you when you were four, um, and Masako, aka the worst mother in history. Can, can we please trade her for Coco from the movie? Please, I'm serious, and like any other villains that I sprinkled in. Uh, meet the artist video, because I recently hit 700 followers on my Instagram, which I, I don't know how I got here so fast. Thank you so much for that. I was just like asking game for like 600 followers like two weeks ago and now we're already at 700 what the fuck that that, that, that wow i i love that thank you so much i appreciate every single one of you or my toxic friend that i had and my experience with her and why i left her uh, vote down in the comments what you want to see next remember to stay safe check out the description for artists i mentioned in this video and please support them if, if you can check out my instagram and tiktok and you can add me as a friend on Discord. Wait, 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 before you go, I have a DTI wise or draw this in your style currently going on. It ends in, right now I'm recording on July 20th, so it'll be ending in like 10 days. So please, please, please consider entering. If you're an artist, please consider entering this. There are plenty of prizes if you still don't win. You get a free color doodle and a character of your choice by me. If you decide to enter, please, <laughs> Thank you for watching this video. Like and subscribe if you enjoyed this. And I'll see you on the next one. Goodbye!